Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I am back with you in my classic um, happy planner. My dear sweet husband called and so I'm just going to start over and kind of go where I'm at. Um, and I, my my camera is, does not have the ability to pause. I really think hard about using my phones because they can pause and that's great. So um, please excuse my fingernails. I've been doing crafts and things. I can get it off my fingers sometimes I can't always get it off my nails. So alright so far all I've done is pull and put two strips here. I did talk through and th and this is from Michael's Recollection and um, it is a, like a pink rose but it may not be pink it may just be where it overlaps where it's translucent like right in here you can see. And then I also am using uh, I have this out from Clever Gal Crafts, which is Etsy. I have all of these from Rose Colored Days, D-A-Z-E, and that is also Etsy. And I think that's it. Um, yeah, that's Rose Colored Days. I'd also pulled out some functionals, but there's functionals in here, so I'm not going to worry about it. So, all right, let's just get back into it. Um, my, my husband was supposed to have left to go to Walmart like, I don't know, 30 minutes ago. He's been outside talking to our son. So anyways, I kind of like said, really? You're just now leaving? Because we've put off dinner. You know, it's already, oh, I don't know what time is it. Let's see. It is 8 o'clock. So, and I know my husband, he's going to come home, get a shower. You know how that is. He's been working outside and trying to fix our son and daughter-in-law's car. And I think he threw the towel in on this one and said, yep, go ahead and take it and get this one fixed. So... Um, there's some things he's willing to do, but he burned himself, and, and that wasn't why he threw in the towel. He threw in the towel because it looks okay until you get into it, and then it kind of gets a little hairy, he said. So, and if my husband says it's not super easy, then it's not super easy, because he's the guy that's taken vehicles apart and put them back together, <laughs> just, you know, just to save money. So, um, anyways, let me try this one, because so I think using the other will be just too much. All right, so I love that. Oh, anything rose gold, anything rose gold. I think I'm going to come along the bottom too, and I'm not sure which one. Ooh, kind of like that one. It's kind of different, huh? All right, and then I'm going to hop in here with my stickers. So, and then i got to go make us uh, some cornbread. We're having beans, and I've made a pot of beans, and... Uh, and we'll just have some cornbread with it, and that will be supper. We'll top it with some veggies, and yum, yum, yum. Okay, there it is. It's like, what happened to my little thingy? <laughs> well, so I was saying when I first started the other video that um, by the time this one goes up, everybody will have had Thanksgiving, and I'm just hoping everybody has had a wonderful Thanksgiving with family, with friends, and if you don't, if if you are... You know, some, some people are on their own, and they don't have family close by, or they may have to work. Um, I was talking to a gal today at Walmart, and she is going to have to work on Thanksgiving, and which I just hate that part. Um, I wish Black Friday would not start until Friday. Um, I hate that it's become commercial, and, um, you know, but anyways... Um, so Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays, so I hate to see anything cut into what it's about. But um, anyway, so I'm hoping, uh, I was sharing that, let me get my thoughts straight here, sorry guys. Um, I was sharing that we, for years, because we moved to a small town, nobody that we knew lived here, and um, we would go and serve in an assisted living home, which eventually my mother when she got so ill, was in the nursing facility adjacent to it. And in that, we met some of the most amazing people. And so what's really amazing is the gal who directed the assisted living home ended up hosting a bridal shower for our daughter-in-law. And we had been talking for years, you know, because we would just talk on the phone and she wasn't always there on Thanksgiving. And so I was so impressed that she was a Christian and all of that. And then um, there was a gentleman who, who we would serve every year for Thanksgiving, um, and he would always lead him in, um, uh, in prayer, and he also led a Bible study in the facility, I mean, he's a super nice gentleman, and he, he moved there when his wife developed Alzheimer's, and he moved into next door, so he could, like, you know, he couldn't completely take care of her, but he could, you know, go back and forth, and 
Interestingly enough, as my mother was in the nursing facility, there was an Alzheimer's wing. She was initially put in there until she was um, in ICU and had to come back on hospice, and she was in a different area. But his wife, we knew, literally the day we took my mom in. And she um, really, you know, just, it's, it's so heartbreaking to see the effects of Alzheimer's. But this gentleman, every single day, would walk over and be with her at every meal. And I, you know, he, he just walked right in, sat right down. He didn't eat. I guess he ate on his side. But it was the most encouraging look at a husband who left his wife and left her unconditionally and was even willing to give up his freedom to live in an assisted living home so he could be near his wife, though he knew he couldn't take care of her. And I was just so impressed by that. I mean, I know that sounds silly to people, but it really does touch my heart because you know, I I know, you know, the struggles. I mean, I I saw it firsthand. And, you know, I I just can't say enough how impressive it is to see someone um, you know, love their wife so much. So, all right, so what I'm doing is I'm putting down a little video here from Rose Colored Days. And so when I um when I plan my videos, and then here's when I shoot my videos and edit them. And that will be on Thursday. And then um, I post usually on Friday. So that's what I'm going to do. That's my plan. That's my plan. So anyway, <laughs> I'm sticking to it, right? I'm trying to. So I'm not going to use these because these are upload, edit, film. I'm going to use those later. I want to use the little icons first. And then we are super excited. My husband will not go see the new Grinch movie until Thanksgiving has happened. So when we come back, um, probably not Monday, because I'm going to have a crazy day Monday. Because um, everything I've got to get done on Monday is just, oh, and it's all for the estate. But on Tuesday night, I thought it'd be family movie night. And we go see the, um, oh, the Grinch, the new one that's come out. And I got that crooked. Sorry, guys. And then also, we'll probably go out to eat that night. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to be pretty poor by then, but we'll see. <laughs> so, and I know this Thanksgiving week, while we are over visiting my daughter, her fiancé, his parents are flying in, um, I want us to go see Wreck-It Ralph 2, whatever the official name of that movie is. So, I love that movie. I love the first one. Vanellope is one of my favorite prince Disney princesses, though she's not officially a princess because she turned down that. And um, I guess she's she was elected, I think. I think that's how that worked. But I loved her because she was special. And having taught special needs students for so long, I, she had a glitch. And they all said she couldn't do it. And she worked her way through it, through the support of friends and, and just the determination. So that's always a really big thing for me. I know. I know it's always something i got to say, but that's important. So on Monday, I am going to be making lists everywhere. Um, we will come back Saturday night late. We will spend Sunday with our son and daughter-in-law for Thanksgiving. And they just came by today when my husband was working on the car. And tonight, and I gave them their little Thanksgiving um, encouragement gift. And um, I love doing that. And I, I have one for our oldest daughter and her fella and um, her fiancé. And then I will have, tomorrow I will run up, oh no, I tore my sticker. I will run up and pick up a gift for my, um, our daughter's fiance's parents that are coming in. And there is a company that is one town away and they have orchards and they have um, nuts. And so I'm going to pick up, uh, their, their, flight, their nuts are incredibly good. They have like, you know, almonds and definitely pecans. Pecans are very indigenous to this area. I mean, we have a small orchard, but we haven't gotten pecans for two years, which can happen. And, um, I mean, just a few here and there, but not enough. We've had, like, huge tubs and tubs and tubs and tubs of, of pecans. So, anyways, but I'll be doing that. And so when we get back on that Monday, I'm going to make my list for work because I have tons I have to get done here. Um, of here, work, and then list for home because I still have everything torn up. And then the list for... Um, Things that I need to focus on to finish out the year for YouTube. And um, my um, oh, Instagram. And I haven't been doing a lot there lately. And 
I just have got to get busy again. So, and I love these. Since we're in the last week of November, I did want to use these. And I'm going to use more of the November colors. So, alrighty. So we know that's going to be a special night. And then this night, along during that week, we will be doing tax work. I don't know how much we're going to get done, but we will be doing tax work. So I am going to um, put this here for us at night because this is about our personal stuff we have to get done. I'm going to leave those for Christmas, and I guess I'll use this one. Um, but I know that we have tons to get done for the estate, which I'll probably put one here for the estate. And, um, you know, it just is crazy. But I know that, you know what, I'm going to put the estate stuff here because I think we're going to work on that over the weekend. And then I think that following weekend, I'm hoping we're going to go up into... I know we go here this night. We aren't going to work that night. So let me take this. I'm going to move this back. We are taking our kids to a radio drama of The Christmas Carol. I love this. We do this every year. There is a place up in Austin, and it is the radio drama, that literally like an old-fashioned radio program, and kind of reminds me of the Red Rider BB Gun era. And um, anyways, or I mean Christmas, a Christmas story era, which we call it the Red Rider BB Gun movie. But anyways, we're taking all of our kids. We've bought tickets. Some are driving in. And we're going to go see this um, A Christmas Carol on this night. This is the only night everybody could go. So I keep pulling the wrong colors. Can you tell? <laughs> so I think I'm going to do this one. Oh, okay. I'll go back to this one. So anyways, I'm super, 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 super excited, and I'm going to put one of those movie thing thingies here, too, and we wish our daughter and soon-to-be son-in-law could stay longer, but they're not going to be able to, but um, it should be fun. So we drive um, north of Austin, and we go to that, so it should be a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. And um, we do it every year. I found one one year on Groupon. And it's just like everybody says, when are we going? When are we, What's this year? Because every year they do a different story. So it's always so much fun. I think the first year, I can't remember what the one we went. And, oh, it's just, I can't remember. I want to think, I can't remember. But these are so cute. Every year they do a different one. So we enjoy them. All right, so I've done that. Now, let me get some of these out. And, oh, I could have put that there. That's what I'll probably, oh, I put it on Saturday. Goodness gracious, I'm so excited. I keep putting things on the wrong days. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay. <sighs> and next weekend, I don't know, we've, we've got to go see my aunt. And for those of you who are praying, she's doing really good. Um, come to find out, she's completely blind in one of her eyes. And so... Um, I was talking to one of her daughters, mine and my cousins, this week, and she was telling me, then I called the other one, and we started talking that, that my dad had the same problem. And so, um, yeah, it's genetic. And so we all have to be really careful, because one of my cousins has the same issue. So, um, something, for, something else for me to put on my list to be aware of. So, all right, I'm going to put this pretty, pretty green one here, because... Um, I'm hoping we're going to go do something as a family on Saturday. There are some orchards that are not close by, but they're wonderful. And so I'm hoping we can go do that. And then I'm hoping we are going to go visit a new church this Saturday, or next Sunday, pardon me. And I so miss our church, guys. Really pray for me. It is really hard for me to want to go to a different church. Our church moved. I mean, it moved. And it went further away. We were already driving... A, sometimes up to an hour and a half and now it moved even further away and I mean they had to do what they had to do they had to you know we totally understand that and they can't they couldn't you know buy land and build a, a building just so we wouldn't have to drive as far <laughs> you know we were we were the newbies so we totally 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 get it um I am going to put a date night down I don't know maybe here and the reason why is my husband and I have to be able to talk about, you know, visiting churches, and you know how that goes. You kind of want to not make it hard on anybody else. So, hello, 
December. I think I'm going to save that for the next one, but I am going to put Hello Winter because we have hit winter. But I will put it right here. It is the time of year that every day I'm like, when is summer getting here? I know it's terrible. I'm, I'm blooming where I am. I'm happy where I'm at. But I will not be... Um, uh, what am I trying to say? I will be perfectly honest with you and say I look for summer. It's the first time the first cold weather hits and I just say, when is summer getting here? So I, I just want to be warm. That's just all my my little body wants. <laughs> so I'm just putting that there that says work because this is my work section. And then errands. I'll probably run errands on Wednesday. By then, hopefully, I will have everything. You know what? I probably won't. I'll probably wait till Thursday because we'll get paid. So I will run errands on Thursday. And then, but not spend much money because Christmas will be coming. But, and I'm almost done with all my Christmas shopping. Um, I have a few things to get, like, for extended family members. And I keep it really simple for my um, nephews and nieces, is I give them all Amazon gift cards. And for the ones that are still young enough, I give them, well, I give usually everybody a book to read. That's my thing. I like to give everybody a book. And I used to give half-price book store gift cards. But not everybody has them where they live. So I just do Amazon and everybody loves that. And that just says, Hello Weekend. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, all that rose gold. Oh, you could never have enough. Um, and I believe Tuesday is my daughter-in-law's birthday. S I mean, uh, Sunday. If not, you know what? I'm going to put it up here because it's not work. But I just don't want to forget her on that day. I want to make sure I get something to her, and I've got her gift already, so I'm super excited, and we'll probably take them to dinner on that night. Um, we have a really favorite restaurant, and they've been there, and she had her birthday last year there, and it is a Mexican food restaurant where they put on the big sombrero, they make you put on the big sombrero, and they sing to you, and it's obnoxious, and it's fun, and so he took her last year, poor thing. <laughs> brand new, newly married girl, <laughs> and, uh, oh, bless her heart, I think we all had a great time, got it, I gotta admit, but I'm, I'm not so anxious to go there on my birthday, so we'll leave it there, <laughs> okay, so I don't think I need the asterisks, and I do want to do meal planning on here this week, okay, we're getting closer to the end, my sweet friends, and actually, I do want to do some list making for the weekend, um, for those of you who have been praying for me to get my house in order, thank you. Please keep praying. I am still, still, still working like a dog, and it is crazy, and I am thankful, but it is a lot of work. I am not going to lie. It is a lot of work. And actually, I think I'm going to move this up here. I lied. I think I'm going to put, even though... There are personal tax work. I think it is still work, so I think I'm going to put that up here. And I'm going to put this here for my home, because when my husband works on that, I'll be working on things in the house. I do all the prep work. He does the actual work, so that's that. Okay, so done with that. Let's get this baby on. So, yes, um, Monday we will be deep cleaning. Um, I will have my youngest get on it and we will be cleaning away laundry is Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and it's just a big deal we just at this point um, when my husband's home we don't get a lot of laundry done because you know so <laughs> it's kind of distracting and um, yeah that's just kind of where we're at so laundry Tuesday Wednesday Thursday I'll catch that up um, we will be sweeping on Monday and mopping, and I just consider those together. And then I will clean my bathroom probably really good on Monday. So even though it's going to be a crazy day, I am going to do that. Now, I'm going to put this on Friday because I like to sweep on Monday, Friday, and Swiffer and whatever else we have to do. And this little dustpan, the reason I got these is this looks like my birds and what we use for my birds. So, 
I am going to be cleaning out the birdcage. <laughs> and I want to deep, deep, deep clean it probably Wednesday. Um, the change of weather affects my birds. And so, like, I had my husband pick up extra things for our birds. And, you know, so anyways. But um, it really does affect them. They do not do well. Um, one of our birds was, they were all from breeders. Um, these were birds. I was going to move that, but I'm, it doesn't want me to. Let me see. Okay, I'm just going to put this here on top, and that's going to be where I plan my suppers. I'm not going to plan supper because we're going to eat out here. Um, but anyways, my poor birds. Um, one of them doesn't do well when the weather changes. And when we bought them from the breeder almost five years ago, I'm not going to do dinner there because we're eating out. And I wonder if this one will come up. But um, she's done well. But every now and then she doesn't do great when the weather changes. And it's gotten cold and she doesn't like it. And um, so I called my husband. I said, could you go by and get me this special bird food and all these things. And, um, and we have people coming in while we're gone um, during the holidays. But um, anyways, and, and on that night we're gone. I, we have, you know, we have friends in the area that help out. And I mean, because we're not going to be gone, but just a little bit of time. And anyways, long story short, um, he was just like, oh no, oh no. So he bought her like, he bought all the birds, like a $40 tub of special, special Nutribullets, which I call birdie crack. And it was hilarious. I was like, no, 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 no. They're all fine. They're fine. They're totally fine. Just let it go. So I am going to use this one for the dishwashing because I'm going to put that here for kitchen. And so one of the things I'm going to work on when my husband's working on tax returns is I'm going to be, um, I've got several areas in my kitchen that we'll be getting. And I thought about investing yourself, and I think I'm going to put that in. Hold on. Well, hold on, guys. I put my punches right here, I thought, so I could use them. And they have disappeared. Do you ever clean so much that you don't know where your things are? That's it. <laughs> That's it. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'll just wash you that there. Um, but anyway, so we are in the process of, you know, just trying to get uh, different parts of our home done. Um, I am so thankful. I am so, so thankful. We have so much that we took on and, and, and it just went on for years. And I'm thankful that we did what we did. We never regret a day of what we did. But um, for all those involved, it, you know, not only did it emotionally affect us as it did everyone, but it um, kind of affected us in every way possible, like our home and our property. And, you know, this isn't, a, you know, when we lived in the city, you know, we could, you know, close our house down and have neighbors bring in the paper and feed and water our dogs. But... You know, we don't have that luxury anymore. I mean, we have parts of our property now that have overgrown so badly that my husband may have to hire, like, somebody with a brush hog to come in and, you know, clear it out. And, um, you know, it's just really been, um, it's been a challenge, you know. I mean, a good challenge, but it, nonetheless, it's still a challenge. And, um, you know, so we're, we're still just, we're still catching up. Okay, guys, that is so stinking cute. The only thing I want right here is my goals. And let's see if I have goals in here. Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, and I love the reading. I'm going to put that down too. Because I want to... Whoops, I just dropped some stuff. I want to work on my reading. I have been letting my reading get away. And I just really want to get focused again. Um, so I'm going to put that down here. And I've got... Um, I just have a whole list of things I want to get done. Do you ever feel like that? I just got all this stuff I want to do. <laughs> I know. It's kind of goofy, but it is how I think. Okay, I'm going to put this down. Nope, that's not the one. Goodness, here we go. But I have a whole list of things that I would like to do. And all my things last year that I was going to do for 2018, of course, I didn't even try to plan last year, to be honest. It was the first year I didn't set up a project management notebook and yeah so this year I will be setting up some of those types of tools again and that will be fantastic because we not only have the wedding but we have got to get 
the estate closed out, we have got to get the tax practice up and running so far ahead that we're okay. And the other thing, and there's not much left at the practice, it's pretty small, but even then, you know, if we end up, whoever we end up still helping, um, we just want to be ahead of the game, and then my husband will probably try to grow some, I don't know, he's still trying to make his decisions on what he's going to do. And, um, and I totally understand. You know, I understand, you know, it's just hard to know what you're going to do. Okay, I have that whole stack, and there was stuff falling, so I'm pulling that up. But, um, so anyways, we just have lots of goal planning and things to try to figure out. And, um, okay. And that's my sweet husband, so it's time for me to finish. <laughs> Since he called me at the beginning of trying to get this filmed. <laughs> and I stopped and talked to him, so I'll call him back here in just a second. So, alright, my friends, that is a very rose goldy week. I kind of like that. I mean, actually, I love that. And it has pink on it already from the Happy Planner. Done. Done, done, done. Super fantastic. It's just party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, again, like, subscribe. Please share this video with anybody that you think it might encourage them. Um, that's what this whole channel is about. It's encouraging each other. And you guys have been phenomenal at that. And... I have learned so much from y'all, and uh, anyways, um, I pray your day is blessed. It is so creative and just incredibly lovely, and I pray that for each of you every day, and uh, it's just a blessing to get to be here and be with y'all, so I will be talking to y'all soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.